You think it's a bladder infection? I doubt it. Hello. That's a cool outfit. It's you awesome. got Superman jammies. High five. Good job. How you doing, buddy? Super good. I like it. So tell me what's going on. All week, I think my wife brought him in earlier this week for yeah. a well check and he's been having accidents oh. left and right. Poop or pee? Pee. Just it's wedding so accidents. During the day? Yes, during the day. How many times a day would you say? Um, I'd say at least three or four times a day and my wife mentioned today that he's been to the bathroom to go pee at least 10 or, 10 or 12 times by the time 2 or 30 rolled around. Oh. So he's been going a lot and not drinking a whole lot. Had he been dry before? Like toilet trains? Yes. For how long? Uh, six months. Okay. Year. And hasn't been having any accidents? No, no. This is definitely kind of different. Definitely, yes. It's, is there any new stress in his life? Um... Not that I can think of. Family changes, something that would be kind of okay. Not that nothing that got, nothing comes to my mind. Okay, okay. we were at martial arts, yeah. and he was in the van waiting for us. And he says, "I have to go." And before she okay. can get out and open the door, he Did, has he go. suggested that it might hurt when he goes. He hasn't suggested anything about it. No. So he might yes. be able to pee in a cup for us. Yeah, I think, he, I think he can. Because <laughs> if we can look at the air under the microscope, spin it down, that would be awesome. This is the super light that looks in your super ears. I'll be gentle. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, you got perfect super throat. <laughs> and da 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 da. That's good. Tummy's good. Tickle tickle tummy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna feel that tummy of yours. Looks good. Is he circumcised? No. Oh, can we look at your pee pee? Okay. All right, just want to make sure everything looks, yeah, looks fine. Let's try to collect the urine. That will be the most important thing. When you pee, does it hurt? Nope. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Well, you get to try to pee in a cup. Okay, that'll be fun. That'll be a new Superman trick. Fantastic. You think it's a bladder infection? I doubt it. Why? So, little boys, right around toilet training time, um, there's usually one of two reasons that it hurts to pee. One is they're constipated and they're straining and the pee comes out and it actually tears or hurts the urethra. I don't get the sense that that's what's going on here because when that happens you try not to pee. He's peeing all the time, which classically is a bladder infection thing, but it usually hurts and boys just don't get bladder infections that often. So, I suspect it has something to do around the, I'm getting all this extra attention when I have to go to the bathroom or have an accident. Just a hunch, but we'll see. I hope I'm, I don't know if I hope I'm wrong or not. We'll just see. What are you doing here? I'm dipping the urine. And then I'm gonna start my timer for two minutes. The band here after so many seconds, the test here along the way. Says when to look at it. So, at 30 seconds, I'm looking at all these ones. Yeah, that's normal. Specific gravity of 1015 and a pH of 7, and everything else is perfect. That was a good job. We got a look at your urine, and it was perfect. So, guess what that means? No UTI. No UTI. Where could he be? Did he go outside? Nope. He's not there. Oh, I see you hiding back there. <laughs> what happens is, they have an accident. Maybe they were distracted. And for whatever reason, when you have an accident, it involves more attention, you know, parental involvement. And a subconscious little thing just sort of, that was rewarding. And, and it's not even, they may not even consciously say I'm gonna do this cause, subconsciously, right? So, the way you undo that is, this is him having an accident. You saw my reaction, it was like nothing, right? I, I don't even notice. So, so when he has an accident, you make no reactions, you make, now you gotta probably at his age maybe make some change of clothes available. 
if you're at all participating with that changing of the clothes, you're a robot. You make no eye contact, you don't talk to them, robots don't talk. At least this robot that's changing clothes doesn't talk. Fair enough. And it, it is so upsetting to have your parent, your person, not give you energy that it's a huge disincentive. I mean, you'll still, if you've got to go through the motions, you do it, but if you can even avoid doing that, even better. Like, if he has to go change, can he change himself? Sometimes, Sometimes it's yeah. half and half, so there's so, you know, you, to change him. Yeah, so if you can avoid changing him, even better. But if you have to, you're a robot. No eye contact, no talking, and it, it'll probably go away in a week or two. We just want rather be safe than sorry. Oh, we we <laughs> yeah. absolutely needed to check, because this could have been a urinary tract infection, you don't want to ignore it. The, the frequency and the urgency and, and, and the accidents was all pointing towards your urinary, urinary tract infection. Um, the fact that it doesn't hurt, doesn't always hurt in kids, little kids, but usually urinary tract, it hurts a bit to go. Uh, the urine might be a little foul odor, you might detect that. Sometimes they'll have fever, not always. Um, but yeah, we're good. Perfect. So, remember, no reaction. All right, Perfect. cool. High five, buddy. That's for you. Yeah, good to see you, man. <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>